Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the Horde Survival Action Roguelike itself, but modded, though, because we're going to be checking out the Mashtato mod here once again. Adds a bunch of characters to the game, some brand new items and weapons as well. Today, we're checking out the Potadroid, who gets one max HP for every engineering, one armor for every four engineering, 3% damage for every structure, but also gets 2% attack speed down for every permanent five max HP, HP regen and lifesteal down by 50%, and don't even bother going for crit, basically. So, kind of an interesting one in the sense that the more engineering you have, the tankier you are, and the fact that we do gain damage on our weapon based off of having structures, which is kind of nice. It helps make it so your character is not as weak in an engineering build as your turrets and stuff. I am going to be going for a nail gun. I've been wanting to use these weapons for a while, but there just hasn't been characters that it's been particularly relevant for. So nail gun, 50% range damage scaling, 30% engineering scaling, and negative 10% range scaling, meaning the lower your range, the more damage it does. It is going to be a little bit annoying that we can't utilize this 2.75 crit multiplier, but you know... This is the most relevant character I could find for Nailgun, to be honest, out of the new ones. So it also spawns a turret that scales on 50% engineering and negative 10% range. So we're going to go for engineering and negative range. On top of that, it does have this important line right here, which is that the range can't go below 80. So even if you have negative 1000 range, this weapon will still fire, which if you don't know, if it is low enough, it just won't fire. If it goes below zero, it won't fire. Uh, I don't know if the negative range thing is still a bug. I would assume it's not. You used to be able to tank your range into the like super negatives, go below zero, and then you would just have infinite range. It was kind of, it was wacky. Anyways, we want engineering. I mean, harvesting is not a bad call, but uh, yeah, we're going to get nail gun. So this is a... Oh, interesting. It's a versatile tool. 25% experience gain? I mean, dang, man. All right, we're going to be locking lock in, uh, our passive item here. But yeah, this seems like it's going to be really, really good. It's going to be tough to remember that we are actively on the hunt for negative range. It's going to be certainly, certainly strange. The sound effect... Pretty sound, it's like pretty satisfying sound effect, but it's also a little compressed. We may end up turning that down at some point in the run. It's more engineering. Okay. Tunnel vision in. I'll take a beanie. On getting one of the, we could go we could go big. Ah. Oh. Since it's a blue tier, you can go big and try and get a common, but I yeah. I didn't think it was gonna be a good call. But you gotta take those chances at some point, right? I don't know, man. Let's, let's see. Kind of satisfying. It's just the fact that I can tell that the, the sound effect is not the highest of qualities. It's also a pretty slow weapon. There's a couple things that we're definitely gonna want to uh, fix up. But if we get like a improved tools, we'd be very happy anyways. You know what? Let's get Scar first. Screw it. Get an eye patch. Negative range is, again, good. Good and we want it. It is going to make the gun shoot not very far. But I think that that's okay. It's basically going to turn it into a melee weapon. Like, uh, perhaps nearly more melee weapon than even a normal melee weapon, which is kind of funny. But we'll see. We'll see if we can even get our range down that far, and we'll kind of juggle it as we see fit, right? Oh, man. Uh, absolutely. Definitely a good spot. I mean, like, I know I can get range damage as well. It has the 50% scaling, but clearly it feels like we should be going more for sure. Yes. 
or for the other stuff. Snail? I'll say no. I'm going to regret it later. I just kind of like to get some early momentum. Snail is something I like to buy, I don't know, wave like an 18 or 19. This gains scaling, and the turret gains scaling, and the minimum range goes up too. Well, I'll be. It's just really good. What's, what about the attack speed? Okay, the attack speed does barely go down. That's fine. It already gets so much value in other places. If it got a huge boost to attack speed too, it would probably be too much. I'm liking it though. I'm liking it. Feeling strong, feeling strong. Grab the harvesting. Well, I'll be. I don't want sharp bullet at this point. Are we taking dodge today? Sure, I'll go for that. Good deal. Yeah, the uh, the crit thing is interesting. It has a, a baked in 12% chance to crit, which is nice because I don't know. I don't know about me grabbing too much crit with the 75% scaling penalty on crit chance. I don't know. The the best way to utilize like like utilize. That was usually utilize, utilize. Um usually go for something when you see like minus 100% crit chance or minus 75%. It's not a stat you need to focus on to have a nice strong run. Like you can totally have a strong run without critting ever. So you probably should just say, "All right, that sign can stop me cuz I can read." And just don't do it. Um, we don't love having a lot of max health. Like, it's not actively great for us. Oh my god. Whatever. 12% damage. Potentially appealing. Engineering more appealing. Harvesting minus melee, sure. Take the landmines. We get what for structures? Percentage damage. Good. Take that. I do have to check. Another 10% across the board and the 5% for the range. Yeah. And the attack speed. Yeah. Okay. Similarly, doesn't really change. So attack speed is going to be something that I'm going to have to bring to the party. If I want to be attacking a lot faster, I can't just rely on level ups. The thing is, I probably wasn't going to do that anyways. I probably wasn't going to rely on that. Hoping for improved tools, of course. The game would really open up to us. Go from something that is just like a really good run already into probably unlosable territory just with one item. I could be wrong. That could be uh, very bold thinking. But I don't think so. It really seems like the only true downside if you're not, like, except that you're just not going to go crit, which is fine. It's only a problem if you feel like you have to waste money on it. Uh, sure. Yes, we like negative range. Otherwise, yeah, I mean, the HP regen and lifesteal modification down, I guess that's kind of the... That's the thing, I guess to be really wary of, but I think it'll be fine. Boop. Yeah, the damage is not, it's not out of control or anything, but you have to factor in our turrets as well. They're doing 26, doing pretty well. Good God, that crit. So it stays at 2.75. So that's something. Okay. <laughs> I do like it. But yeah, I'm glad that there is a baked in fairly high crit. I'll maybe grab some crit like you saw from the level ups. I'll grab it if nothing else seems appealing and I really just don't feel like I should roll anymore. 
and it's like blue tier or higher like that that's maybe the only instance where i'll go for crit and even then i don't think it's i don't think it's a good idea it's just sometimes you have to roll with the punches head injury is just very good Projectiles gain a bounce, but pierce through one less target, and the piercing damage goes down. I don't know. Because bounce damage is minus 50% by default. So this seems kind of... kind of bad. Whatever, let's, let's just find out. How about that? The default bounce is minus 95. This is garbage. That's so bad. What? What on earth? Yeah, no, that's that's just that's just terrible then. There's not really a strong reason to do that. Small magazine will be worth it for sure. Like I don't know, a lot of mods do this, where they make the default bounce, but, like, it's kind of funky to do it in this mod when there is, um, there's a bounce item in the game added from the mod that the weapon has a minus 95 by default. That's crazy. So, yeah, we, we definitely just, by buying that item, we made ourselves weaker, but... Unfortunately, yeah, we, we could not know that this weapon had a 95% bounce damage uh, multiplier down until we buy it. It's just one of the kind of weird quirks of Brotato. So I'm, I'm feeling a little burnt by that, I can't deny. But we can still utilize it for like a lifesteal front, not that we get like great lifesteal chance. Oof. It's, yeah, it's so noticeable. Max speed. Armor, I guess. I think we can take a tractor on wave nine. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're fine with that. Alien worm, sure. Then just take sausage just for the free reroll. So the knockback on this too. This is a mistake, but it's a mistake that I'm willing to make. Look at them bounces. Look at them beautiful one damage bounces. Absolutely griefed. Oh, well. The good news is, I don't think it's going to matter. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't think it's going to matter, and it is at least fun to look at. That's the, uh... That's the optimistic take on it. It's, it's fun to watch the nails bounce around the screen. Okay. Good amount of armor. Okay. Is beautiful. Yeah, we're, we're tanky, but like our regen is meh. If we can just get a whole bunch of medical turrets, then we're unstoppable. Eh. Don't want range. Uh, baby with a beard. Just genuinely good find. The fun thing is we can take uh, Compass and we're still at a 0% crit down, which we do know right here is a 0.5 crit down. So that's fun. So Baby with a Beard does bring us to the situation where we probably should grab some range damage. I just wanted to lean into the engineering gimmick of the character more, but... I can't deny it now. We probably should get some. It doesn't help our turrets, though, actually. It only helps the nail gun. It does not help the nail gun's turrets. So that's why it's kind of like... I'm not going to say it's a waste to go for it, but... It's merely a single dip with a little bit of uh, big with a beard benefit at this point. 
when in the past it was kind of, I don't know. It's just, it's worth having for the 50 uh, range down. That's a five range or five damage up by default. 10 damage up on the epic. Yeah, it's, it's so worth it. It's worth it for that alone. But we also have the justification of maybe we'll use a little bit of range damage at some point. Sure. Sure. It's so good. It's so good that I still feel... I feel like a criminal for taking it. I feel... I feel dirty for taking it. I think it got nerfed. But it still seems so, so good. Yeah, bosses are definitely not our strong suit today. But if we can lure you closer to some traps, we'll have a good time. Step on it. Good deal. Yeah. Mini bosses, not our strong suit, but we've had runs, many runs, where it's even less of a strong suit. And I'm not saying that because I'm like, we can't handle a single target. It's more just, it's clear that we're better at AoE. A lot of times when I say it, a lot of people think that they get like, oh, I, I, have, I have such a good gotcha. I can just say, I can say, go in and say, says bad single target, kills boss fast. I know, but I'm talking relative, okay? Obviously, our AoE clear is better than our single target, and that's indisputable, right? We have bounces, we have extra turrets, we have, it's, you know, it's relatively indisputable. Robot arm is free, metal plate, sure. Oh, boy. Sharp bullet would have been a better take. Uh, pocket factory is good. I will say Pocket Factory does not count for giving us lots of structures the way you would maybe think. That isn't a thing. That doesn't do it that way. But it's still good to have because we obviously have a lot of engineering. So getting lots of free turrets is, is good. It's good because the item is good. It's not necessarily good because it breaks this character wide open. I don't remember what character we played it with, but there was another scale with structures character. We did a test. We saw after the turret spawned from the trees from Pocket Factory, if it gave us stats, it didn't. So we, we've already done that test. Unless for some reason there's an inconsistency between the characters and this went and it like it works now. But it it shouldn't. Whoop, whoop, whoop. When it says it's counting structures, it's not actually counting the amount of structures on the map. It's counting the amount of things you have that have spawned structures. There's a chance that Pocket Factory counts as one structure, I, but I don't even think that that's the case. Sure. Cindy We could set up a barricade, do something like that, but I'm not gonna. The metal detector, because we do like the engineering. I'll take a metal plate. Sharp bullet, meh. How much, uh, good god, 39% damage up. We have 11 armor from our passive. That's crazy. And 45. I don't know, man. This character's busted. What's the downside? Again, I have, the downside is I have 12% attack speed down and half as much healing. I'm not going to say that those downsides aren't big downsides. They just do not outweigh the benefits of the character at all. The benefits of the character absolutely outweigh those things. I and I did willingly not mention the crit thing because again, like modifications to your crit stats for like you know scaling for crit or for dodge or even to an extent HP regen or life steal. It's not the same as a modification to a stat like health or armor or, you know, like a percent damage. It's not the same at all because you can just not go that stat. It's a little bit harder when it's both HP regen and lifesteal. It does turn into an absolutely noticeable downside. 
But this character just has so much upside <laughs> that it's hard to even really care. Let's grab a little bit of range damage for fun. Lol. Okay, now I now I really have to get some range damage. <laughs> I'll say it's very satisfying to see those crit numbers. It's of course a bit of a bummer that we're not really going to be able to go much of a crit build, but. Okay, I'll tell you one thing that's really nice about the concept of these bouncing instead of piercing. If we get super duper range down, bounces actually do not care about range. That's why you are seeing some nails go all the way across the screen. Because bounces, it just doesn't care. It'll find the nearest target, regardless of how near they truly even are. You run through the middle. It's pretty much... I'm not going to say there's no fear whatsoever, but this is me literally running into groups, basically trying to get killed. <laughs> and I just kind of... I'm not going to say I couldn't. <laughs> I don't think it matters anymore to go for bag. I don't have very much dodge. But I, I'm gonna, gonna grab some there. Can we get spicy sauce? We could. I just don't feel like it. Yeah, another baby with a beard. You love to see it. The negative range is just super good. Look at the range on this gun now, though. Like I said, we turned it into a melee weapon. Which I actually really, really like that idea. This is one of those days where I'm like, oh God, where where did I break it? Is it just the... I think it, it could be the weapon. I think it's the weapon that really broke it. And you may be like, oh no, it's the character because it's giving you all that armor and everything. It's like, yeah, but I have a weapon that is so strong that I don't really need to do anything except take negative range and it's really good. And sometimes that changes a factor on a character, like, a lot. If you just don't have to care about certain stats. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think the character's probably too strong. But I think that the weapon might be a little too strong, too. I think we might be having uh, both at the same time. I shouldn't have, done, shouldn't have done that. Explosion damage, we might as well. I want range damage, so they want to do dead. It's not that much range damage at this point at all. It's going to be like three. All right. We should kind of melt this boss anyways, even though, again, truthfully, it is not our strong suit to do single target damage. But honestly, our AoE isn't much better anymore because of our stinky uh, item we took. Ooh, we dying? We dying because this boss is a weird cheese lord? We gotta, we gotta strafe carefully. There we go. Boss is a weird cheese lord. Yeah, our uh, our AOE has definitely gotten. Well, no, I no, I have double freaking baby with a beard. If I had more range damage, our AOE would definitely have gotten better. On top of the fact that we have bouncing. Okay. Yeah. No. It's here's the thing. Rubber bullets with baby with a beard are absolutely working. They they should, right? At the very least. No, I don't want I don't want that much range, thank you. So there's some silliness there for sure. Do I take this? It's not that much range. It's not that good. It's like a eh, it's like a three damage up. I'm gonna pass. Not because it's not 
something that would work. I just don't care. Track that doesn't make sense anymore. Insanity is probably a bit silly. It takes a it takes a lot for it to be too late for Dangerous Bunny. But this is definitely the time where it's accurate. It's accurate that it's too late. So we fire two bullets that do 20 damage. Doing some pretty hefty work for us. Maybe we should get a little bit of lifesteal. I guess we should just be always firing. That destroys the sound effects. Because if we're always firing, then the second somebody walks into our range, they get destroyed. I'll manual fire on, like, the boss. Bare minimum. Alright. Uh, it doesn't matter anymore. Oh my god. Um, am I tagged for harvesting for some reason? What's going on there? What's up with that? Sad vigilante ring find. Yep. I mean, leather rest is very good for us. Explosive turrets very good for us. Another baby with a beard. I feel like I'm maybe tagged for... No, why would I be tagged for negative range? Because this character is not inherently... I don't know. They're not inherently a negative range character. That's the weapon. I don't know. I guess it's just a very... It's a very lucky, but it's like a weird type of lucky because... It would have worked way better if I knew we were going to be getting three baby with the beards. I would have probably just done a uh, range damage run. Right. At that point. Oh my lord. Yeah, we're just we're just fine. We're just fine. How much armor? 32 armor, 98 health. It's It's free. Absolutely free victory. I mean, I'm down for it. It's nice to have a relaxing day. I'm not going to take it. I'll take the range damage. I'll take the four armor. Maybe the beard. Inferno trap. Good. I'll lock this, but... Oh, Lord. That helps. That does something. That fixes our range damage a little bit. All right. Where are you at? Come here. Stay in, I can't believe it's not melee range. We want to be hitting them both with the piercing. If I can get both of them like that, it was really good. But yeah. This damage output is very, very silly. In general. We just got to be here. In melee range, and goodbye. Yeah, that character uh, is just kind of busted. It's just kind of busted. It's just more than kind of busted. Does it need to be nerfed? No, it's a mod. No, it's a mod. Uh, but it also, like I said, it could have something to do with just how strong the nail gun is anyways, because you have to factor in, okay, well, what's the other situation for a weapon that scales so heavily on engineering? It's like, you go turrets with wrench, I guess, but it's like, that's helpful. It's very good. We never even found improved tools, which would have ripped this wide open even further than it already was, because we have 111 attack speed, despite the downside. Maybe it's like the downside needs to be more. Like, uh, not... It, it doesn't need to. But if we were making this balanced, I think that you could get away with 3% uh, attack speed down for every permanent 5 max HP. 
or maybe even a little bit more, and I think the character would still be strong. Leaning into that kind of like tanky, charging up kind of mentality. But I like that I had fun. It doesn't... Nothing needs to be nerfed. I really like the nail gun item. I'll, an item that encourages me to throw away my range is music to my eyes. And I know what I said there too. But last, last, this has been the Mashed Tato mod. Check it out on the Steam Workshop. My name is Retro Mesh. You cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you're into, this is a channel you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!